Hello. In this session, we'll be talking about value analysis and value engineering. Uh, we'll try to uh, get some insights regarding the topic through a story, an Akbar Birbal story. Okay. So, what is value? Let us try and discover from the story itself. Okay. The story goes like this. Akbar calls his courtesans, courtians for uh, a very important discussion. So he says, Nobleman, there is a very important matter before the court today. The raw material price is shooting up. The material cost of a sword has gone up by rupees 10 and we are adding 50,000 soldiers to our army this year. I want to handle this situation without increasing the taxes. Please give your valuable suggestions to how we should face this situation. Now, everybody is thinking about it, but Then only Akbar says, Why everyone's quiet, Birbal? I am surprised that you two have become silent. Birbal responds back, Your Majesty, I have six ideas which can reduce the cost of a sword by at least rupees 20 without compromising the functional requirements. Brilliant. Tell us those ideas. Now, presently, the uh, now Birbal starts giving the ideas. Presently, the hilt has seven parts. Hilt means the handle part of the sword. The proposed design will have four. So he suggests a design change of the hilt while reducing the number of parts. Then comes the second idea. For the new hilt, instead of designing exclusive rivets, we can use the rivets of the daggers. This basically helps them in terms of part commonization. The parts which are being used at other places can also be used here also. This will help them in terms of uh, dependency, removing dependency from multiple type of parts at the same time the same parts which uh, when they are going to use it in bulk it will automatically bring down the cost. So part commonization. Then comes the third decision. When the Shah of Persia was our guest last month I observed that the hilt in his sword does not have a curved portion. We can design similar hilts for our experienced soldiers too. So he changes the hilt all together. Okay, which further reduces the part also, but at the same time, this is what is what we call it as benchmarking. That means benchmarking to an existing practices. It may not be by your own but can be also from outside outside your company outside the industry too okay then comes the next suggestion which says the sheet which houses the blade is made of copper now we can switch over to alloy steel which is cheaper so that's an uh, 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 that's about uh, using alternate materials which will reduce the cost of the overall sword not only just the sword but also in overall terms that means it will help in terms of reducing the cost of the sheath the best part with this is this alloys 
steel would be much more stronger also so it is actually adding more value to it while reducing the cost since alloy steel is stronger than copper we can reduce the thickness of 0.5 mm which will save the material now as the thickness of the sword will reduce automatically the weight of the sword will also reduce which will help in terms of better handling of the sword from 2 mm to 1.5 mm so the weight will also reduce the curved blade design is yielding only two pieces per die if a straight blade blade is designed we can extract three pieces per die so this is about enhancing the yield or productivity within that stipulated time period itself so within a die the way they are producing it since it is more curved if you reduce the curve automatically you will be able to make three blades instead of two blades within that same time frame so that's yield improvement now resistance comes your majesty the present design is being used since the time of baba without any failure we should not risk and design uh, risk any design change uh this normally this kind of resistance can be seen all across and not only just from others but uh, this kind of resistance is uh, resistance is uh, 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 there with us also whenever our com we have we our comfort zone gets disturbed immediately we have this resistance birbal response if the idea passes the test we can save at least rupees 10 lakhs this year thus serving the purpose of the cost reduction so looking at the positives advantages we should always try to move beyond our comfort zone okay and these advantages will be the motivation to move up beyond there is an advantage also i do not have to increase the tax sahib there is no doubt that the present sword designed by you for my grandfather's army is superior however let us test this new design in our barracks if they pass the tests we will deploy them in the battle fold so that's a very good idea normally testing the things and then deploying it and again when you are deploying it that time it is basically a planned and phase wise deployment so that uh, all the problems uh, are also taken care of at the time of testing itself birbal i wonder how you developed these ideas is there a systematic way by which others can also be trained to generate such ideas yes your majesty with the help of functional analysis system technique anybody that is fast anybody can generate such ideas fast is a powerful tool used in value engineering which is an extremely effective system to improve products and services for cost and productivity improvement if six ideas for the sword itself can save rupees 10 lakhs imagine how much money we can save on other weapons like spears arrows and cannons etc birbal there are four divisions in my army infantry cavalry artillery and elephant brigade 
I want you to teach the engineers in each of these divisions the application of value engineering, especially the fast functional analysis and system technique. Each division should release armory change requests for the worth of rupees 25 lakhs. Yes, Your Majesty. I hope you enjoyed the story. It was of good learning value too. Now, I would like to again get back to my initial question that is, what is value? Value is what is being perceived as the worth of that product. This is the simplest way how I would like to actually define value. Value is the price the customer is willing to pay for the goods or the service that he is taking. It is a subjective term. Easy to understand but difficult to define. It combines four major attributes, cost, quality, speed and flexibility. It is dynamic in nature. And the simplest form I can say value equals to performance with respect to cost. As the performance goes up, the value increases. If the cost goes up, the value decreases. A lot of examples can be seen around when we talk about value. Companies depend on this value analysis and value engineering for improvement in their products and subsequent reduction in the cost. Ultimately what happens is what you would have observed is the inflation cost inflation uh, cost no, cost increment because of inflation will always keep on happening but if you focus on value analysis and value engineering you can still maintain the cost of your product now the concept was developed during world war ii by lawrence d miles of general electric company under wartime conditions, studies were continuously made to see whether alternative materials could be used for components and assemblies because those specified were either expensive or difficult to obtain. Now, what do we mean by value analysis? It is the task of finding a more economical way of making or buying a product. systematic organized approach for attaining the same performance at a lower cost. A cost reduction program to improve value or cost ratio of the product, material or services which are being offered. A process of substitution to achieve cost reduction. We can define value analysis as an organized creative approach which has for its purpose the efficient identification of unnecessary cost that is cost which does not add to quality use life appearance or other customer features in short what adds value okay so it is about identification of unnecessary cost and reducing them. The ones, the features which don't add value to the customer. Value analysis, it is an organized uh, approach wherein we are uh, looking at the use of the product, quality, life, appearance not only just this but also 
the perceived value of the same by the customer okay so value analysis is the study of the relationship of design function and cost of any product or material or service with the objective to reduce cost through modifications of design or material or specifications or the manufacturing process or changing the source of the supply in terms of external or internal or possible elimination of parts or their incorporation into a related item now there are different definitions one more which we can be, which can look at is it is the investigation of the performance of a material or a component in terms of its function and its unit price to develop the most effective specification at the lowest unit cost so value analysis is done with an intention to eliminate unnecessary cost or processes which does not add to quality use life and appearance it results in improved value with respect to cost cost reduction improved productivity and improved customer value objective of value analysis is to increase the value of an item or service at the lowest cost without sacrificing on quality secondary objectives would be increasing the functionality or use of the product or service while holding the cost constant reducing the cost while not reducing the functionality and increasing the functionality more than increasing the cost value engineering is an extension of value analysis concept and came into existence in 1954 value engineering is applied to new product but it is not limited to only new product after value value analysis value engineering is the next phase that means bringing in the changes as in line with the value analysis it is a preventive process whereas value analysis is a remedial process value analysis is always conducted on a existing product okay when we talk about value analysis our stakeholders or the people whom we should include the parties which should be a part of it will be executive management the suppliers design engineers marketing team production team industrial or process engineering team and quality control inputs from all of them would be more beneficial how does value engineering works it starts with gathering information measuring the performance analyzing different functions generating ideas evaluating and ranking of ideas developing the ideas further to make it more implementable and present the ideas getting approval and then implementation value analysis is conducted by establishing the objectives creating a multidisciplinary team analyzing the production process of the supplier company analyze the product Uh, the use of uh, the product use at the purchaser from face by face decompose and analyze the various characteristics of the purchased product hold a creative brainstorming session sort the ideas to establish the cost or effect or feasibility of each select the best alternatives and develop a plan for implementing the change 
uh, value analysis process basically goes through uh, general phase, information phase, function phase, creation phase, evaluation phase, investigation phase, and then comes the last, that is recommendation phase. General phase uh, basically uh, is a, the initial, the first phase itself throughout the application of the entire job plan. The techniques of this phase must be applied to create the right environment, use of good human relations, inspire the teamwork, work on specifics, overcome roadblocks, apply good business. That may. Information phase, uh, this basically is used to gain an understanding of the project being studied to obtain all essential facts, information at one place. So, uh, uh, in this phase, facts are secured, costs are determined and fixed costs on specifications and requirements are worked out. So, they are fixed. Function phase. The objective of this phase is to define the function that a product actually performs and is required to perform as well as to relate this function to the cost and the work of providing them. So, it defines the function, evaluates function relationship. Uh, creation phase creates ideas for valuable alternatives to accomplish the functions defined in the various phase. First step is to try to answer the question, what also will do, which requires creativity. Uh, for this, uh, uh, various methods are uh, actually used to enhance creativity. Anyway, uh, it's not a part of this now. So will not discuss it right away. Uh, then comes the evaluation phase. Objective of this phase is to select the most promising ideas generated during the creative phase and to subject the ideas to a preliminary screening to identify those which satisfy the following criteria. So the most important one is will it work? Is it less costly than the present design? Is it feasible to implement and various other fa factors are used to filter out the best ideas. In investigation phase, the selected ideas are further refined into workable and acceptable solutions, providing lower cost method for performing the desired function by some techniques. They are use cases, use uh, company and individual standards to the extent possible, uh, consult vendors and specialists to get cost reducing and quality improving ideas, recommendation phase, final uh, phase of the job plan in which the fi uh, finally selected value alternative is recommended for acceptance and implementation after the approval then only the implementation starts. So value analysis would succeed only if the recommendation is accepted. Techniques of value analysis. Design. Help. It is helpful to visualize and visualize the total functional product and its components. Checklist. Set of questions are made and they are studied. Basic purpose is to assure that a careful investigation is made. What is the precise function of the item? Can the item be eliminated? Could the item be produced within the firm at a lesser cost? So, and other relevant questions are basically a part of this. Uh, brainstorming is done to get or to generate more ideas price uh, anal uh, not only just uh, generating the ideas but also evaluating the ideas price analysis is done cost is 
related to all the phases of value analysis procedures, it is advisable to have intensive price analysis as a distinct phase of the procedures. When we talk about benefits, it substitutes the earlier product, but at the same time, uh, it will help in uh, better manufacturing methods, standardization of the products uh, at the, as well as the manufacturing product, uh, manufacturing process and lower operating cost. Value analysis and value engineering is applied in production, purchasing and also in case of service being offered to the customers. That's all friends. Thank you.